Well, we're going to try to do a little dirt bike in here. I don't know how well it's going to work or not, but we're going to try. I look up here and first thing I see is a sign that says drive slow. So it's maybe a mistake, but we'll give it a try, see what happens. Don't particularly care for freewheeling on this loose gravel with these little wheels, but that's what it is. Go slow, dusty road. Don't worry, I will. Boy, it's pretty out here. We're right here in Culberson, North Carolina. We're actually in the, the Georgia side of the, of the state line over in this little road. Then I just thought we'd uh, we'd ride down this little road here. I've been down this road before. There used to be a lot of moonshiners who lived along this road back in my dad's day. A lot of moonshine stills down in here. Uh, can't think of the name of the road now. Uh, yeah, it'll come to me. Anyway, the, it's a beautiful area back in this little valley back here. <laughs> a little bit jumpy and bumpy. Jonicky Gap, that's the name of this road, Jonicky Gap Road. And this is called Jonicky Gap back here, it's a gap in the mountains. What that's named after. Like I said, my my dad, who was an alcoholic, lived in a little town behind us back there, Culberson, North Carolina. And uh, uh, some of his brothers were also alcoholics, and that was kind of the thing that they did back then. Everybody drank, and there's a lot of moonshine made to, off down this little little area down here, Jonicky Gap. This Bergman 200 has what's called a link braking and it also has anti-lock brakes. The link braking means that the, when you put on the rear brake, it also puts on the front brake to some extent. There used to be a school right here, and there's a plaque right there on the ground denoting that. You see some funny things back here, don't you? <laughs> That's a pretty house back here, though. It sure is. And we're going to go around the corner here and go up a little ways and start up the mountain here. This road used to be so remote and so few people use it, people come back here and dump the trash back in here. They finally got it all cleaned out. That was back when I was a kid. I remember that happening. And I still find some things I'm sure back here now and again. But most people don't do that anymore. Although you might not be able to tell it with the camera going here, the wide fisheye camera, we are we are starting to go uphill here. Well, as, as we get ready to go down a little bit, so we're going to go up over that mountain up there. 
There's a campground right back here somewhere or another. I don't know if we can actually see it from this road or not. You turn off this road to go over to it. Moon shotters had their stills hit down here back in the back up in the woods and stuff. Before we actually start to go up this mountain here. I don't know that whether I've ever actually been in this direction on this road. Uh, the last few times that I've been on this road, I've been coming the other way, and coming down the mountain. I just decided to, to make a little video of going up the mountain on a on a motor scooter. Show you what a what a brave old man I am, boy, to attack this mountain on this this little motor scooter. Not that big of a mountain, but <laughs> riding this gravel on this thing. That's where the campground is down there. Over there, riding up this mountain is no fun, though. I don't think. But when you put out as many videos as I've put out, you, you have to stop and try to think of something other to make one that's, you know, a little bit different than what the rest of them was. There's maybe something somebody might get interested in, some idiot out here on a motor scooter trying to pry up these. <laughs> oh boy. Rocky, nasty old roads. Boy, is this thing bumpy. Let's get over here. No, that's no better. Whose idea was this anyway? Must have been some damned idiot. Decided to come back here and ride up this bumpy ass old road. You can see over there we're going up the mountain. Yeah, obviously some damned idiot made a decision about this. washed out. Hard to tell that, but it is. Well, I rode up Pikes Peak on my XT225 Yamaha dirt bike uh, 2000, summer of 2012. Now, it wasn't this hard to ride up, I don't think. Of course, it was paved. <laughs> thinking a lot about buying me a, another dirt bike to get out and ride the country lanes and forestry trails on, but well, I'm just having an awful time deciding what to do, deciding whether I would actually want to get out and, and subject my poor old 80 year old body to <laughs> all this bumpy bump stuff and everything again. Here comes somebody down through here to Pass a little dust on oh, for us. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. That's what I want to do today. Grease some dirt. <laughs> 